we do have a democracy in this country, okay? But it has a giant loophole in it, meaning that you know, people, corporations, can, that can afford to put resources behind hiring people to influence the government full time, they're gonna have disproportionate influence over our system right now. So they're gaming the process because there's this loophole in it, you know? But we are voters, this is a democracy, and I, I, think, it, and, and I think this sort of affirms what they've been saying here, We've got to take control over this situation, you know, as a people, as Americans, working together. So we have to, I think, start with that agreement that there's a problem with corporate influence in our, in our politics that majority of people can agree with. So let's drop the party politics for now and focus on this enormous problem, closing this enormous loophole. That's the way we're gonna have impact. Instead of starting out with, well, I'm this, I'm that, and I, you know, just, we have all these differences, let's just forget the differences for now, because this is a political emergency. You know, we're not gonna get anything done with, with these problems in the process. So I just want all of us to sort of be able to work together for now without these labels that separate us right now, and focus on this problem that, you know, Daryl and Linda, and, you know, we've been talking about. The role of the challenge man. really is the coffee party to become that voice that breaks that corporate gridlock that we've had on Congress. And if that becomes the the uh, the movement that really the, that the that the coffee party can spur, I think the coffee party would have done an awful lot uh, if, if that's what happened. Yeah, well, that's kind of what we would we would like to see happen because it's it's an emergency. This is like political nine one one, like help. We need help. <laughs> we got to help ourselves because no one else is going to come in and help us with this. We're the people. We have a right to have control of our government. So anyway, so um, do you want to anything dying? You want to? Do you want to say? Just to amplify it? your point, I would just yeah. say, I hope that the people in this room, the people watching at home, the people who are attending coffee party meetings around the country. I hope that they stay involved, that they are still coming to meetings one month, two months, six months down the road. You know, the, the, the measure is going to be the staying power. And if, and if you stay involved and you stay active, and you, people are, members of Congress are waiting to see if you will, if you have that staying power, if you will make your voice heard, if you will stick with it. So I would urge you and encourage you to do that. How many of you right now feel like you can say you want to stick with this? You want to work together on this? You know. Oh, there you go. <laughs> um, did C-SPAN get that? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. And, and I want you now to see if you can come you know, together in small groups and discuss some of the solutions that we've been talking about. And, and thanks again for having us here. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. That was great. This was yeah, very good job. This is great. Very good job. Nice to meet you.